Wow, forward moment. I think there's someone here around you who wants high levels of commitment with you. This is someone who's very, very willing and determined to move forward with you, okay? It's literally like if you're if, if, if you have friends, this person wants to date you. If you're dating, this person wants a commitment with you. If you're in a commitment, this person wants public recognition. They want public commitment, okay? Whatever. But yeah, this person wants to move forward with you. And um, they want to get you in public light, okay? Maybe they're even wanting to discuss you with, your, with their friends, family, whoever. But whatever's happened, it's going to happen all of a sudden, okay? So I have a feeling that you're not expecting this person to come in. Because this person is, has, is having like an epiphany, a realization all of a sudden. You guys probably are not in talking terms and probably you guys have broken up and that's when this person realizes that now they want everything with you. Because there could have been a lack of forward moment in the past. Seven of Wands, looks like this person is has bent on making things happen with you or with the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, they want to move forward and you could be someone who's very, very stuck in your head, okay? It could be two ways. Either they're very, very hell-bent and very determined on making things happen and they're going to fight for this relationship is what I'm getting, okay? With the Knight of Swords here, you have some communication crushing it, okay? Someone coming in towards you really quick. Again, I'm getting unexpected communication, okay? You're not going to be expecting this communication, could be someone who's never, who's never, who's not very good at expressing their emotions. You could have blocked this person, okay? But I'm getting more like a continuation where this person is. It's just telling me how uh, determined they are, how hesitant they are on moving forward with you, and they're ready to fight anyone and everything to make things happen. Are there any more? So who's coming to us? Gemini and Love, please. Let us see the page of wands. How many cards? Let's see the ace of wands here. Lovers, see, you could Gemini. <laughs> That's your card, right? This person loves you. This person wants you. This person realizes that this is a twin flame connection. They feel it, okay? I'm getting literally like this person now has a realization that this is a twin flame connection. They're very drawn to you. This is the card of I love you, I want you, and only you. This person could have had a hard time committing to you, okay? And uh, you could definitely be dealing with someone who played a lot of mind games with you and you literally had to walk away from them. Probably I feel that this person has been a thought that you probably would chase them after you let them go or they let you go. But I guess that didn't happen, okay? In fact, I think the table's turned and now they have this realization. King of Pentacles, this person is coming towards you with commitment. They're coming towards you with a lot of uh, stability, security, okay? And with the page of wands here, that communication is going to come in very, very soon, okay? This is someone who has a lot of enthusiasm. They want to re-approach the situation with a lot of... Um, a lot of passion. There is a lot of passion here, no doubt, okay? But the page of wands is also a different, a fresh approach towards the situation. I'm almost getting like a new beginning in love. But whoever this person is, right, they're, they're not shit talking this time. They're very serious about what they want with you. So that's for sure. I'm getting a lot of, all right, I know what I want and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pursue it. And they're changing their approach towards you. Maybe this person was someone non-committal. Maybe they always played games with you, etc. okay? And you were forced to walk away. Maybe someone egoistic, maybe someone who never really was very detached. But yeah, this time they're coming in and they're coming for the Ten of Cups. They're coming to get that happily ever after with you. They want that commitment. They want that family, that relationship, everything with you. The hermit. But uh, I think this person is coming in towards you after doing a lot of thinking. Like I said, right? I feel like there was no communication, lack of communication. But yeah, with the hermit here, this person could have ghosted you. But I feel that this person could have taken a lot of time out Okay, in order to do a lot of thinking. They've had a lot of time to think about this situation, okay? Could be someone who you're dealing with who is very who is single, who is very afraid to lose their independence. Someone who likes to be on their own, okay? But they realize that you were probably the missing piece of the puzzle. Okay, they had everything in their life except you. I think this person is now wanting to be with you. They're ready to be in a relationship with you. They're ready to let go of their singlehood and be only committed to you. But yeah, this could be after a very, very long time uh, period of waiting. <laughs> so 
so yeah i think after a period of waiting that's when this person is going to come in okay i'm getting like there's going to be like a long break before you guys get back together but when you will they're coming in with this commitment they're coming in with that soulmate twin flame connection not only that they're coming in with something the fool they want this risk they want to take this risk they want to take this leap of faith with you again this person could have been someone who has a lot of trust issues okay or someone who's gone through a bad relationship in the past which made it even more difficult for them to trust you or trust the potential of this relationship someone who just felt this was risky business okay but probably they've had their heart broken up once over the two of cups here this person is in love with you but not only is are they in love with you this is a mutual connection again two of cups the lovers i can't stress more this is a very fated a very strong bond which is going to be unbreakable five of wands i'm getting this either there are too many people <coughs> around you okay multiple people involved here too many people to fight i'm getting maybe you guys have to fight too many people before you get together um <coughs> Or this is someone who's ready to fight any competition, ready to fight for this relationship. I'm literally getting like someone after you guys split, right? This person ghosted you. They took their own time. You know, there was a long break, a period of waiting, stagnation. You probably even had mixed signals from this person. But this person's ready to come in. They're so ready to take this leap of faith with you, okay? They had their doubts about this relationship, for sure. But they're coming in with that very determined energy, you know, with that, that strive, like, yeah, I'm going to make this happen. They want this brand new beginning with you. They want a clean slate with you. They want to start from scratch. Not anymore. Any more things for Gemini? Sun, see? You're going to get clarity about the situation, okay? It's literally like you're going to get everything that you need with the Knight of Wands. This, this person's rushing in. They're like in a hurry to come in towards you. You're no longer their passion project, okay? It's not someone who's like, oh yeah, I'm so passionate about you. Today I'm in, tomorrow I'm out. No, not someone like that. Yes, you could be dealing with someone immature. I, I, I don't disagree. But this could also be two energies, okay? Either this is the same person here who... <laughs> who's looking for you uh, a lot of long-term with you. They want to offer you longevity and they're coming in with that um, uh, uh, with that fiery energy, with a lot of passion here. Or this is just you who's very focused on your work while they come in towards you, okay? Take it how it resonates. Maybe you're the one who's very focused on your stability, etc. right? And now they're coming in. But I'm getting more like this. This is the same person who's coming in to offer you stability, okay? For the sun here, this is illumination. This is happiness. You're finally... Uh, you probably, if you felt like you were left in the dark for a very long time, all that's coming in. This is someone coming out of isolation and ready to talk to you. You're going to have a lot of clarity and whatever the clarity is, it's going to make you very, very happy. Nine of Pentacles. This wants to come out before also. I feel that this person sees you as someone very, very independent. Someone who doesn't need anyone else. The Nine of Pentacles, it's the card of that uh, that single independent lady card, right? This is abundance. This is someone who feels very abundant. This is someone who sees you as someone who's very self-sufficient, financially independent. You're on your own. You realize your self-worth, your value. Someone who is enjoying the best of their life, enjoying the luxuries of their life, focusing on yourself, etc. Okay, so yeah, they see you in good luck. They see you as single and I think they're literally insecure. They're in love with you. I'm literally getting someone who wants to get you tied down before there's someone else who takes you away. <laughs> literally, I'm getting someone who wants to be with you and they don't want to take a risk because they see you as probably having a lot of suitors, right? So they're like, you know, I need to offer Gemini something stable before this person gets away. And I don't want it to be a missed opportunity. That's what I'm getting. What is the likely outcome between Gemini and the person they're dealing with? What is the likely outcome? Two of Swords. I think you're going to be in your head. You're going to be in your head. You're not going to be sure if you want to give this person a second chance because I think you're someone who's blocking this person out right now. You're in this like, you know what? I don't know what to do. I don't know what decision to make. Like literally, I'm getting some, I'm, I'm literally getting you as someone who's in two minds because this is almost like when they come in with this offer to you, you're going to be like, I don't know because it's going to be like a literal make or break situation. Okay. They're going to, you're going to have a difficult decision to make. Probably this person screwed you over a lot. Okay. They messed up. 
the best with you a lot, okay? But yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. But you're in this energy of like, no, see, the two of cups won't go from the bottom of the deck. Look at this. There is a union. There is this soulmate union, okay? You're not going to be able to deny it. Yes, then you're going to bring up your options, okay? You're probably trying to avoid making a decision also. I feel this is you blocking your heart chakra. Either you don't have enough information or you don't trust this person is also what I'm getting. But they're still coming in with something stable, something solid, something committed, okay? Their approach towards you is like, let's make this work out, okay? This is raising the white flag. I want to stop all this bullshit. I'm ready to fight for this. I want this new beginning with you. I'm ready to take a risk. I realize our connection. And um, let's start all over again. With the two of cups at the bottom of the deck, this is a relationship. This is two people coming into union. For sure. But this union is going to come in after a period of stagnation, after a period of break. Okay, so don't worry. This, If you think this connection is over, you're, you're, you're pretty, pretty much wrong. It's not over yet. Okay. It's just a pause. There's this pause before you guys come into union. And this union is going to be good for the sun and the lovers here and the two of cups here too. I want to be a Gemini today. <laughs> Anyways, Gemini, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.